baby. <laughs> I call it a burnout. <sighs> what is up, guys? It's Rashad back at Invoke Performance. I'm here to make the long awaited video. The mini bike is ready to go. Let me give you a quick overview of what I've done since the last video and then I'm gonna get straight to riding this bad boy. So yeah, I have the high voltage wired here. I have a nice switch so I control the voltage. That switch goes to a 300 amp fuse which then goes to my controller, positive and negative. Made some quick brackets. Quick walk around there. There's the PMC controller, 325 amps. I don't think I showed that in the last clip. Let that focus a little bit there. Yeah, DC motor controller, straight off of eBay, straight from China. Got the big motor mounted. See my high voltage cabling there? That's actually Chevy Volt cabling. Was able to reuse that. Two gauge, two A gauge cabling, going straight to the motor. And then I also have the switch here wired so I can control this bad boy. So enough of this talking. Let's get ready to ride this beast. Super quick and dirty setup. You can easily do this at your home. Uh, I was able to charge this battery with a cheap charger also. So yeah, let's get ready to ride, guys. So first thing I do to power this up, I uh, take my fuse, I mean, sorry, the switch, turn it on, and then you engage the kill switch to on, and she's ready to take off. It's just that simple, guys. The controller was super easy to set up. Let's ride this beast. Alrighty guys, as you can see, this thing has a lot of torque off the line. And right now I actually have to keep the throttle around 50% to keep it from wheeling. So you know what that means. That lets me know I have a lot of room to play with my gearing. And a lot of you have been asking, what kind of tires am I going to use? Here are my drag radials that I'll be using. These are street tire. Uh, looks like these are Carlisle. And they are a go-kart type tire. So they have a lot of tread. But as you can see, after that burnout, I almost have a slick right now, so I'm just going to run this one until it pretty much pops. But I also, for my drag bike project, I have these smaller gears here that will give me the option to drastically, drastically change the top speed of this monster. But as of right now, just from what I can feel, this thing does about 45, maybe 50 miles an hour. Uh, but I, I know I can go much faster by dropping the teeth in the back, keeping that big old 17, 17 tooth in the front. So by changing this, I will almost have a one-to-one -one ratio because the motor absolutely has the power. And the crazy thing is, guys, this battery is not even fully charged. It's around 44, 45 volts now, but fully charged, it's up to 50 volts. So it still has a lot of power, but at full charge, it's a night and day difference. There's no heat in the system right now, guys. Just from that burnout and these pulls, everything is cool to the touch. The battery doesn't have any heat in it. So it lets me know that I got everything right as far as the capacity for the battery and the high voltage wiring. So this project, as you can see, is super exciting. I'm gonna, once these tires here give out, I'm gonna go ahead and mount my drag radials and so I can get better grip, better traction. Uh, I got one for the front, one for the back. And as you can see, that's gonna look really cool, guys. Uh, right there, it's kinda, oh yeah. And it has a much, it's much wider than the original. So it'll help me corner and gives me that extra little bit of uh, grip in the back. Uh, I may have to stretch the frame, I don't know how much, yeah, I should be able to do it with this gearing. But yeah guys, if you like this 
this project like and subscribe i'm going to try to include all of the parts that i use for this build just so you can replicate this super super cheap uh, I was able to do it for only about 200 bucks because I had a lot of these parts already. I had this motor. Uh, this right here was uh, donated from Excess Motor Works. Go and like and subscribe his channel. I'm gonna have his link in the description. And then this controller here is just an eBay Curtis style uh, forklift controller. It's called PMC DC Motor Controller 48 volt. And then, but if you want to try to do this on your own, it will cost you maybe around the six, $700 range. But the good thing about these components is they can be used in other projects. So if this frame ever gives out or if I find it's too small, I can throw a lot more voltage at this motor, probably up to 90 plus volts and really get some power. So I'm thinking about expanding to a, uh, to a motorcycle frame because I have a lot more of these Chevy Volt batteries here and I have room to grow. So right now I'm gonna max out this frame. I'm gonna change the gearing, change the tires. And if you wanna follow that build, and follow that madness, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Invoke Performance. Rashad out.